today's Monday and I'm excited for Monday again. I feel like I've said that a couple of times. Um, I'm excited it's Monday because I feel like it's a fresh start to like a good week. Last week was just such a terrible, terrible, terrible week. So this is going to be the start of my new vlog. So hello. I'm so sorry it took forever to get my last vlog out. I know, trust me, I, I just know. So he started feeling better on Saturday and then yesterday was Sunday and that's when we just got out of the house and I was like, look, we need to get out of the house because we haven't and we need to just spend some time together. It's the last day before the weekday. So that's what we did. We went to Kohl's and we found him a shirt for the engagement session. We didn't do the engagement session yesterday just because he still didn't feel 100%. I ended up taking a picture of us and I posted to Instagram and you could just tell his eyes are just a little bit tired still. And so I'm really glad we didn't do it. Um, he felt better, but he just looked tired. So then we ended up going to dinner with his dad and stepmom. Go to my PO box and then I'm gonna pick up some coffee and I'm going to Kohl's because there was something I really wanted to buy yesterday but I guess I couldn't get it yesterday. I have to get it today. I don't know what that was about. So I picked up my packages. The only problem is like one of them, I one of them I didn't even know I had. And the other one I ended up ordering off of someone and they didn't even tell me it was broken. I got the goods. No worries. Mm. Whoever the barista was at Duncan today, thank you. Yay! Okay, so I was gonna buy something yesterday and for whatever reason online, the price was cheaper and I was getting frustrated. I'm like, look, the online price is cheaper than what it's showing here. Can I get with the online prices? And they're like, no, we don't match online prices. And I understand that some stores don't. I get that. When it's your own store, I think it's kind of stupid. You don't match it, but I can understand some stores don't. But it was a huge difference from online to in store. So I was like, you know what? I'll just order it online then. I'll get the one from online and from in store and see if it is the same one. It is the same one because I actually just got charged the same price that online was and then I got a 30% off coupon so I'm just like you gotta be kidding me like they could have done this yesterday so basically what I have learned is scan something first before you totally give up on the item because I wanted this item so bad but I left because I'm like the prices aren't the same so when she scanned it it was the same price as the online price so I was right yesterday and the manager should have just scanned the items. I said, can you scan it? She goes, well, this is gonna be the price. Ay, yeah, yeah. it has been so crazy around here. It's ridiculous. Like I got home and all of a sudden, I don't know which animal, it's either Bella, Ronan, or Athena. One of them decided to pee in my office and I don't even know why. Every day since last Sunday, so we're going a week, I've either cleaned up throw up, pee, or poop every single day, one or the other. And I'm just like, you've gotta be kidding me. Like today I thought it would be a good day, it's a good start to the week, I don't have to clean up any of that crap, and guess what? I still had to clean up pee, twice. Anyway, it's just been insane. So I am watching Nashville, I'm gonna catch up on my shows, and I'm just relaxing on the couch. I haven't really sat on the couch much lately because that's kinda where he hung out when he started feeling a little bit better, and I'm like, if you ended up spreading any germs, but I sprayed the crap out of his couch, so there shouldn't be any, but I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes, like, People have the funniest things to say, like on videos. Like they think they're being like all like cool and like, oh, I totally am making fun of you and I'm so cool. Like, it just makes me laugh. I'm telling you what, like I'm reading them and I'm just like, people's lives must really, really suck. And honestly, I'm not meaning to laugh because I know people might literally have issues, but like this person puts, you're mental if you think using your crusty fingers applies better than a beard. <laughs> ay, 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 crazy. And then this video makes me want to kill myself, it's so bad. I mean, that, but yet, wait, okay, so you're saying you want to kill yourself here, but yet you're calling me mental, okay? Let's just uh, go to the next one, and then she can do better eyeliner, and she's 10, her sister can. Well, that's cute. Like, what, like, I don't understand. Like, it makes me laugh because people are so ridiculous, but at the same time, it makes me sad and scared because it makes me wonder, like, what are you going through? Why, why do you have such, like, crazy things to say? If you're someone who's watching my videos and you normally, like, leave mean comments on people's video, like, question yourself. Why are you so angry in life? And, like, why does it make you feel better to say stuff like that? Like, the last thing I have time for in my life is to comment on someone's video. To, number one, watch a video. She watched three different videos. She didn't leave these comments on the same one. She watched three of my videos just to leave mean comments. So, what you're telling me is that you have so much time in your day to just sit there and just talk crap about someone. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, couldn't you have been out like shopping or going to the beach or doing something more fun than just sitting on the computer and making fun? I mean, I know there really are like people who have like serious like depression and issues with like themselves and that's why they go to YouTube and it just makes them feel better to like unleash. But it's like, 
I can't sit there and just make an excuse for these people. Like, if you're that, like, horrible of a person that you just want to put other people down, like, I'm not going to sit there and give an excuse and say, oh, well, you have a really rough life, or oh, you're going through this, or whatever it may be. I'm not going to sit there and give you an excuse. Just, that's, that's just what I'm going to leave that at. So, anyway, so working on Nashville, I just was commenting back to comments. And I always feel bad because, like, on here, I'll always, like, tell you guys, like, about, like, the mean comments, like, in a vlog. But it's just because, like, most of my comments are usually, like, really, really nice to you guys. And it means the world to me and I hope you guys know that like I just will say these ones just because I want to bring more awareness to the people who like leave the mean comments like your comments just make you look bad and I I, I will say that for the rest of my life like it just makes you look bad not me just try and rise above it because you know there's plenty of videos I don't like but I just like that's their that's their thing I'm not gonna walk in their house and say your house is awful you know what I mean like that's what content is it's my content it's my creation and you don't just walk in on someone and say, oh, that's terrible. You know what I mean? I know that's never going to end. It's always going to be there and I have no problem with it. I can totally handle it. It's just I'm letting people know and like bringing awareness that it just makes the haters look bad. Yay! I finally edited my vlog. You guys probably thought I had something way more exciting that I was going to share, but I finally edited my vlog. Yay! I'm so happy. Um, also, that kind of is another thing. Okay, so I know I'm super busy. I know I have a lot of stuff that's always on my plate, but... I'm wanting to know from you guys, do you guys like longer vlogs? So you guys would rather I uploaded it like once a week, twice a week, three times a week, whatever? Or would you prefer that I uploaded every day? And when I say every day, it's not like a guarantee, like, oh, she's gonna upload every single day, but just would you rather just be like one day in the vlog? So I'm wondering, do you guys like shorter vlogs more often or long vlogs less often? Anyway, it is a busy day today. I've got some stuff I gotta catch up on, but I'm pretty much, you know, almost there. Anyway, yay, I got the vlog done, and it's going to export now, and then I will upload it today, and then I can get my Ipsy Glam Bag video edited today because those are so quick to edit. I think I have like six minutes worth of footage to edit. All right, so I haven't talked to you guys in a little bit, but I think I just worked, and I had some dinner. I got some eggs because we ran out. We really need to go to Costco now that he's better. I don't mind if he touches food. Hey guys, so I know that this is quite the interesting look right now. I hate when I have my hair up like this. I am now laying in bed and I self tan tonight, so my hair is up in this like gross bun, but I've put it up like that so it doesn't get like all in the self tanner. But I was sitting there and I was watching vlogs of everybody at Playlist Live and it just makes me sad because I wanted to go so bad. I don't know, it just makes me sad because I wanted to be there and you know, seeing all my favorite YouTubers, they're here like where I live and it's like I could have met them but I didn't get to. It just makes me sad, but regardless, I'm just sad that I couldn't go, but I really hope to go next year So anyway, that's all I really wanted to talk about. I like look like ridiculous on camera right now I just felt like getting on here and saying that I am tired So I'm gonna go to bed and I love you guys and I will see you guys. Hey guys So I have not charged my camera in a few days, so it's gonna die any second I'm so sorry. I feel like an idiot, but anyway today is Wednesday So I'm happy that's Wednesday because we're getting closer to the weekend. So anyway today's Wednesday and Preston went to the dentist. He has meetings he has to do for work and I'm just working. Lame, my battery did die. But anyway, like I was saying, I have a lot of stuff I have to do today. Got a lot of work I gotta do. What is that? Oh, it's ball. Um, and so that's kind of what I gotta focus on today. But that's basically it. Let's see. Yesterday we hung around the house and worked and then we went grocery shopping and I made uh, my favorite enchiladas. They are the ground turkey, beans, and cheese enchiladas. They're my favorite favorite it's our favorite meal I've talked to you guys about it before and I'll have to share the recipe with you guys one day but it is so delicious we love them so we had that last night and we just watched movies and then it's just today so we just woke up had some breakfast and I'm drinking my coffee now I'm watching Alicia Marie's vlog and she went to Disney World and it's so weird like youtubers are like in my backyard and I didn't get to go see them I'm so sad you know she and I used to talk all the time back in the day before she got you know as big as she is now we used to talk all the time and it would have been so nice to actually like physically meet her anyway I just thought I'd mention that it makes me sad though because I really could have met her hey guys so I'm off I'm gonna run a few errands and then I'm gonna come back home but I have a couple of errands I want to run so I thought I would talk to you guys for for a moment so anyways it's just been a day full of work so that's kind of why I'm taking my lunch break to get my errands done all right so I got my errands done all right so I'm back home and 
and I just had some lunch. The enchilada was so delicious, it's so good. So I had an enchilada and then I make myself another cup of coffee just because I have a lot of writing I need to do and I wanna have plenty of energy to do so. So I have another cup of coffee and also I'm watching the Jack of Red Hearts. No, Jack of the Red Hearts. I'm watching that. It's okay so far, I mean it's whatever. It's probably it for today so I'm gonna wrap up today. Good morning guys. Today is Thursday and I have a super busy day today. I've got a lot of conference calls, with training calls, um, different stuff I gotta do today. This squirrel needs to, oh it's a baby. Me and the pups are going to Dunkin Donuts to get me some coffee. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I go to Dunkin Donuts. They had our country station. They had them there and they like were set up in a tent like playing music. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. And you know, she's like such a little baby. She's like worried the whole time that someone's like gonna kill her, I swear. And so they're set up just like playing music, all is good. And then like all of a sudden I pull up to the window and the person in front of me paid for my order, which was awesome. So I was like, yeah, I'll pay for the person behind me. And so I paid for their order. And then um, I guess if you were to pay for someone's order, you got a free donut. So they gave me a free donut. And then the manager walked out and he gave me a free little ice cream dessert thingy and this. So I'm like, oh my God. And it was like every corner I went, like there was someone popping out one to give me something for free. That was so cool. So shout out to my local country station. I got a free donut, I got a free dessert. <laughs> I got my coffee for free, but then I paid for the person behind me, which theirs was more expensive, but it makes you feel better knowing you paid for theirs. If only they knew, like, they're my favorite station. I was already listening to them, and I, like, pull up, and I was like, is it kind of, like, tacky that I'm listening to them as I'm pulling into Dougie Donuts? <laughs> I, like, turned down my radio. They're my favorite station. Yay! <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna go home and just kind of prep and everything for the call because I pretty much had breakfast already. So um, I'm gonna go prep for the call and then I will probably talk to you guys after the call just because I, I gotta focus in on work right now. That was just such a cool way to start like my Thursday. I hope the rest of my Thursday goes pretty well. I've been kind of stressing out for today just because it's gonna be so busy, but that was a really nice little morning I got to spend. So I tried like talking more about it in the car, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to vlog in the car at times because there's like so much commotion going on. But it was pretty cool. I guess today is National Pay It Forward Day, so I participated, just saying. Um, and I'm just excited. I'm really happy about that. Yay! Ow. So I just finished my call, which went beautifully. I love talking to them. Like I love talking to them. They're from the UK and they've got like these beautiful accents and they're hysterical. And like whenever you talk to someone from the UK who has that accent, you like, I don't know, for me, I just feel like they're like princesses. They've got like the most beautiful accent and it's like, I wanna talk like you. Anyway, the call went really well. I'm out of breath because I was just running with the dogs for a little bit. <laughs> I gotta let the dogs back in because they're out like roaming around. Look, if she pees on this floor because I'm more than positive it's her, she's gonna die. You better not even think about it because I know it's you. And I hope you see that powder on the ground and you know I put that there because of you. Yeah, is that you? Are you the one who keeps peeing on my floor? Yeah, look at you, look how comfy you are on that. And the dogs are like avoiding it like the plague and you're all comfy. So one thing that I really wanna get off my chest and I've kinda of talked about it and then I just keep deleting the clips cause I'm not saying it elegantly enough. I'm not saying it the way I wanna say it. Basically, one thing I don't appreciate and it's happening a lot lately and I know it happens to a lot of my YouTuber friends is brands are reaching out, emailing us and I'm just gonna talk about me for right now, emailing me and saying, hey, I would really love for you to do a review on our product, you know, you know, what do you think about it, blah, blah, blah. And it's always gonna be like a free thing. Most, most I do are free. I don't get paid for it. I get the free product, which is a huge thing. It's still some sort of pay or incentive. However, it's not, it's free. I'm, I'm just doing the video because I like the product. Um, so I get, you know, the email saying, you know, will you do the review and blah, blah, blah. And that's great, I love it. Like, I feel so flattered. But then there are certain brands who email me saying, hey, I would love for you to do a review on this product. Or no, hey, I would love for you to do a review on our brand. These are the products that we have. You know, take a look at them and let's see if this is something you wanna talk about. And if it's something I want to talk about, I'll email back and say, yeah, I would love to, you know, work on your brand. I'd love to, you know, try your products out. And so I'll assume that they're gonna send me the product that they sent me a link for 
and they don't send that product. Those were like their really high dollar, like really nice products. But then they're like, they'll write me back saying, great, well, because you're not a very big YouTuber, we're just gonna send you this. And it will be something that's like not that brand, like something that's just kind of like, well, you sent me a photo of this and now you're wanting me to review this. <sighs> My problem with that is that you reached out to me and you wanted me to do a review on your product and then you went forward by saying, you're not a very big YouTuber, so you're just gonna get this. So you reached out to me pretty much just to put me down and say I'm not a very big YouTuber, which no. Do I have a million subscribers? No, but this is what irks me. I put in as much time, effort, pre-planning, editing, uh, like I put as much time in as any big YouTuber. So why is it that my time is, is less important than the big YouTuber's time? I get that there's a different reach, Obviously, there's a different audience. Obviously, really wanting to reach to specific audiences. I get that. Just know that my time is no different than a bigger YouTuber's time. And that's kind of where I get really irritated because I, I warn brands. I say, you know, it may take a while for me to get it up because I have a full time job. So to do a review on your product, it might take some time. You know, I give them options that they can do if they want a quicker upload time. And it's always like, Brands just kind of treat me like they're doing me a favor. And I, for my whole YouTube life, I will never see it as the brands doing me a favor because I have plenty of things I could do reviews on. I could re be reviewing whatever I want. But if you're a brand that's wanting me to review your product, I'm doing you a favor. <laughs> like, you're not doing me a favor. Yeah, I think it's great that I'm getting a free product, but, and it could be a product that I really, really love. It's still not me doing a favor. That's like saying that you're going to NBC.com or let's just say ABC. You're going to ABC and you're like, hey, I really want to get this commercial out. I have this campaign going and I really want to get this product out. You know, let's say we're Coca-Cola. Hey, I want to shoot this commercial. When you do that, you're not helping ABC out. Yeah, you're helping a little bit because you're paying to have your advertisement on their channel, but they're really initially doing you a favor because you're putting it on their platform. So YouTube is no different. You're putting your product on this YouTuber's platform and it's so much cheaper than if you're doing like a TV campaign. So like, that's just where my problem is, is like so many brands treat YouTubers like nothing. And it's just like, no, if you, it, immediately if that's how you treat me, I don't review your product. I don't even consider it. I don't, I don't even care about it. Like you just don't even come up like, I don't think of you at all. So for anyone who is getting contacted by brands, do not let them walk all over you. Don't let them treat you any less than you are. Whether you have 50 subscribers, a million subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, whatever you have, your time is still important. You may have a different reach, which is kind of something that is important as well. But if you have a million like subscribers you deserve to get paid for it you deserve way more like you deserve better treatment than what brands give and even me only at 9,000 subscribers I deserve way better treatment than what brands give because I may have 9,000 subscribers but who knows if this video will get like 20,000 views or 30,000 views I'm not saying it will but who knows and who knows next year if I have a million subscribers let's say I post a video and it goes viral and I have a million guess what your video now has more exposure because I now have a million subscribers you get what I mean and the reason why I have such a strong opinion about this is because I work for brands my full-time job is I am their marketer so for me I work on both sides I work from the brands perspective and I work as like the actual platform like talents platform perspective so I know if I'm gonna reach out to someone and say hey would you promote this product whatever it may be I'm grateful to that person. I'm not treating them like, oh, you know, that you're so lucky you're getting this product, this brand, whatever it is. Like, I don't treat it that way. So that's kind of what I want to talk about. This is to any brand that's watching my video. Please don't treat us like we're nothing. And number two, to any YouTuber, do not let brands walk all over you. Do not let brands make you feel any less. Whether you have a million subscribers, 10,000, five, it doesn't matter. Don't let brands talk to you like that. And it's not a favor, it's really a team effort because yeah, they're helping me by giving me a free product. That's awesome, like that's amazing. I'll take anything for free. However, they're not doing it out of the kindness of their heart, they're doing it so you promote their product. So it's kind of like a working thing, like you're both working together to make one nice outcome. So that's just kind of something I wanted to talk to you guys about and kind of go over with you guys and um, just kind of get off my chest. Hey guys, so I'm uploading videos to my computer right now, but I'm done with my conference call. I'm, I don't know, I'm a little bit blah right now, but I have been talking to my mom, so we were discussing just like, 
Okay, like when I first told you guys I bought my dress, you could kind of tell that like I just am unsure. And I think it's because I went to, I think a total of maybe four or five bridal salons. However, when I went to the salons, the budget was always different. And I feel like, and I never showed the bridal consultant person, I never showed her what I wanted. And it's because I didn't think I knew what I wanted, but like I did, like I always knew what I pictured. And I guess I just always figured that wedding dresses would always look like this one, but I was like so wrong. And I was just wrong on a lot of different levels on how it worked. And now I feel like I really have a good grasp on it and everything. You know, I was telling my mom that I love my dress. It's just not what I pictured for my wedding. And that's kind of what I told you guys too. It's just not what I pictured and what I've dreamt about my whole life. And you know, my idea of like a wedding dress and what it was before it was me in this position is I didn't feel like the wedding dress was as important. And I never really took into consideration how important it was for me. Like when I go to other people's wedding, the wedding dress is not something I focus on. I'm focusing on the entire atmosphere and I've always been that way. But what I'm not realizing is when it came to me in my own wedding day, I pictured myself in a specific dress and there was a dress I always wanted to wear. And I didn't realize and kind of correlate that to, to this experience. I don't know how to explain it. So basically I ended up buying a dress that's nothing. It's like polar opposite of what I always pictured. And because of that, it's been really difficult for me to really envision myself in the dress. Like I've had to train my mind to no longer like those other types of dresses because it wasn't the same as mine. And so basically I just kind of feel like I never really hit that 100%. Like right now I'm very content and I'm very good with it, but I feel like I may have settled or I may have, I don't know, I, it almost does feel like I settled. So anyways, I was just talking to my mom about it and I love my dress and I feel like I just wanna try it on again to get like a clear idea of what it looks like on me because the salon didn't let you take pictures and I just think that is totally wrong. I understand it's like a, it was an actual like designer salon. So I understand like they don't want people to copy the dress because that's actually huge. And I didn't know that, but it's huge for, for people to like copy and replicate it. So I get that, but I can't see what it looks like on me. So what I think would be great is like maybe the actual like consultants, maybe they take pictures of me in the dress and they get, you know, a bunch of pictures that way I can flip through it and I can see myself in the dress and it's on their phone, not ours. So there's no way we could have it. Um, I just feel like there's just ways that, that it should work. So anyway, <laughs> moving forward from that. So what ended up happening is we really just kind of kept changing our budget. So it was like, I never went to the salon and went to multiple salons with the same budget because I was constantly kind of going higher and higher. And so I want to be able to just start at a salon and use the same, tell them my budget and tell them what I'm looking for and go from there. Instead, what we were doing is just bring whatever so I can figure out what I look good in and whatever, whatever. But now it's like, I know what dress I want. It's just just, I need to find it within the budget and that can happen and like that can most definitely happen so I was talking to my mom about it and we're kind of considering um, just looking to see if we can find another dress and if anything I probably will buy that dress off my parents and then sell it that way if I lose some money than what we paid for it I'm okay with me losing my money but I don't want them to lose theirs so I might buy the dress off of my mom and then try and sell it and just get as much income back as I can and then also you know buy this next dress so it's kind of a headache and I don't know if it's worth it. So that's kind of why I want to play with it. I need to love this other dress for me to even consider this to be an option. So that's kind of where I'm at. And one thing that kind of makes me feel better is I know I'm not the only bride because whenever I went to these fittings, there was always a bride who already had a dress, but she was trying on more to make sure her dress was the one. And so now I know that that's a thing. So me and my mom are probably gonna go to a salon and just kind of get ideas and see if we can find my dress for the price we want. So I don't know, we'll discuss it, but I just wanna know that on my wedding day, I feel the best I can feel. And that doesn't mean I need a high price tag. If I can find a dress for $20, that makes me feel like a princess by all means. I've been talking to my mom about that and I don't know, I might be hitting like a crash from my coffee. I just kind of feel blah right now. There's just been different stuff going on and I'm not very good with change and so I'm just kind of experiencing different um, emotions right now. I just feel kind of blah 
right now. I just feel a little bit stressed out. I found out that I was supposed to have filmed something today, but I can't film it today. This is like giving me a shadow. So I at least did finish editing my vlog though, so I'll be able to get that uploaded tonight. If I don't forget, like I have the past couple of times. So I can upload my vlog tonight. I'm gonna need to get with Preston and figure out when we want to reschedule our engagement shoot. I'm gonna see when my mom's available to see when we can do another dress try on. What's really funny is I found out there's a lot of girls who buy multiple dresses. I'm glad I'm not the only one. My package is here. I heard the truck, the dogs are not happy. And I realized I started uploading a video that needs to go up tomorrow. So today that I'm vlogging right now is actually going in this vlog. I totally messed up my schedule. So I'm gonna have to redo it. Can you tell my packages? Oh, thanks UPS for knocking. I really appreciate you knocking and letting me know there's a package here. It seems like every time they come, like it's a little bit later in the day, so I guess they're kind of assuming people would be home. It seems like anytime they figure people definitely will be home, they don't knock. In fact, half the time they don't knock. And it's like, I do have dogs barking and everything, so I always know what's going on around my house, but do you think you should knock? But anyways, what I was trying to say, I, I didn't want to vlog when they were coming up because then they'd hear me talk to myself, but what I was trying to say is that I am putting this vlog up tomorrow. So I was gonna add today's footage into the vlog and I forgot about that. I totally forgot that I uploaded a video yesterday and so to upload one again today, I just think it's like too crunched. So I want to upload a longer vlog tomorrow. I was wondering because I was feeling like it was gonna be a long vlog and all of a sudden it was like nine minutes for this one and I'm like, I was expecting a longer vlog and now I know why. I totally messed up. So I already exported, it was already almost fully uploaded too. And then I'm like, wait a second. So, am I the only one who finds it insanely crazy or obnoxious when multiple people like vlog or have their camera out at the same time? I don't know, I, try, I like, think of myself in the position I'm like, like I said, I'm watching a ton of playlist vlogs and then there's like Snapchat and stuff I've been watching and it seems like so many YouTubers, like they'll get together and then like everyone has their camera out at one time and it's just like, it annoys me and it makes me kind of like, I don't know, like, I, are you spending that quality time? And I'm not saying like, cause I know having the camera out, it doesn't mean that you're not having quality time, but it's like, just hang out and like just have your your moment like hanging out and enjoying each other's time and bring the camera along but don't all vlog at the exact same time. I mean I personally find it annoying when I see the same exact footage on like everyone's vlog and I think like YouTubers know that but it's like, I don't know, I feel like it just annoys me. So anyways, I was watching Snapchat and people are like filming the same exact thing and it's like, I don't know, it's, it's just too much. Like could you do this second and then you do a different second? Like right after this one finishes then you can start up? Like that'd be fine but it's like, they always have their cameras out at the same time and it's like they're filming each other vlogging and to me I find it's just like obnoxious and it's like kind of annoying. That's just my personal opinion. I might be the only one. Okay, so I've chilled for a little bit. I don't have like the weird anxious feeling I had before, so that's good. Okay, so I'm completely edited all the way up to this point, which I'm happy about. I feel good. So I got it all the way edited, but I'll finish it up tomorrow, so I'll just close out my computer now and just finish it up tomorrow and now I can finally go shower and relax and watch movies and TV and it's still bright out. I don't really like when it's still bright out but it's also thunderstorming. I like thunderstorms, I'm not gonna lie. I think growing up in Florida, like most of us like thunderstorms. It's kind of like a feeling of being at home. Like I was watching someone who moved to, I think it was Madison. She moved to California. She used to live here in Florida. I don't know what part, but she did. And she was saying how it was storming over in California and something that they're not used to and she said it made her feel like home and that like takes the words right out of my mouth. Like if I go out of town and it's storming wherever I go, people will like freak out and it's like, no, that's that's normal. Hey guys, so I have not closed out the vlog so I wanted to go ahead and do so now. I'm laying in bed and um, I'm about to go to bed. I like keep yawning so my eyes are like crying. But anyway, I wanted to say I love you guys and good night and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah.